This is my last video for this block exam for anatomy. I hope the past ones have been beneficial to you. This one I wanted to specify just only the hand and the different pathologies that you can get from uh, nerve damage. Up here in the upper left, you can see that I've left a dissection of the hand here. And the way I kind of keep all of these hand muscles straight in my head is I use the mnemonic all for one and one for all. This phrase might be familiar to you, but if it isn't, it's kind of a popular one from movies. And the reason I bring up this phrase is that's kind of your hand muscles in the order in which you will see them, starting from the thumb, working to the pinky or hypothenar eminence. The all for all for one is the AB ductor pollicis brevis. The F for all for one is the flexor pollicis brevis. And the O is the opponent's pollicis. And like, uh, like the phrase above says, you should follow the order all for one. And then if you bring it over here to the pinky side, you can see the opponent's for the one, the flexor digiti minimi for the four, and finally the abductor here for the all. So that should get you all of those here. Uh, not part of the mnemonic that is exceptionally important is the AD ductor pollicis. Um, the reason I also wanted to bring up this hand is knowing the innervation can be kind of tricky. For the innervation, this muscle, your AD ductor pollicis, your lumbricals for the third and fourth digit, all of your pinky muscles here in the hand are all going to be innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve. They will also be supplied by the uh, deep palmar arch, which is originated from the ulnar artery. And then for the thumb or thenar eminence, the all for one muscles and the lumbricals for the first and uh, for this digit and this digit will be supplied by the recurrent branch of the median nerve. So I know that this one can be an exception because even though it has pollicis in the name, it is supplied by the, the deep branch of the ulnar nerve. Moving on to the right, here's another kind of memory hook to help keep the bone, the carpal bone straight. The mnemonic is straight line to pinky, here comes the thumb. The straight for straight line to pinky is the scaphoid bone, located here just above the radius. You can also see for the line is the lunate bone. The next one is triquetrium. The one just above that is pisiform. Then you have the hamate, which is famous for its hook for here comes for the capitate bone, the for tra trapezoid, and finally trapezium. So straight line to pinky, here comes the thumb. And I also included an x-ray because you should be familiar with both for uh, forms of the carpal bones. So you can still follow that pattern. Straight line to pinky, here comes the thumb. You can even see the little hook of hamate here, and you can see what appears to be like a sesamoid bone kind of structure is the pisiform bone. Just to remember, whenever you're looking at an x-ray, look for the radius, and then that will point you directly to the scaphoid, and then you can work your way through this mnemonic from the radius or thumb side over to the pinky side and back over to the front. And now this is a very, very important way of keeping your structures memorized, is this mnemonic for the different kind of nerve palsies that can present in the hand. The mnemonic is Dr. Kuma. The D for doctor is significant for wrist drop. Wrist drop is usually in accordance to the radial nerve. You can commonly see these whenever you have a neck of the humerus fracture. The next one is claw hand, or uh, for the coup, 
Sometimes I will also remember it as clue hand to keep it straight in my head that is the ulnar nerve that will create this hand, hand uh, pathology. And finally, for the ma in the Dr. Kuma mnemonic, you have median nerve presents with ape hand. I know oftentimes the claw hand and the hand of benediction, which is significant usually for median nerve damage, can be confusing at times. And so I went ahead and included this chart uh, to kind of explain how you can discern ulnar claw, claw hand from the hand of benediction sign. Whatever your instructor uh, taught you, that's the way I would go, but I understand there's a lot of confusion between the two, so I wanted to include this to help clear it. And finally, the big th structure that I wanted to teach you guys is the anatomical snuff box, or what I like to call the brevis sandwich. It is consistent with the extensor pollicis longus, the extensor pollicis brevis, and the AB ductor pollicis longus with the radial artery just uh, underneath it and over the top the superficial branch of the radial nerve. The floor of the anatomical snuff box is the scaphoid bone. This is a very very important structure, say for example if you fell on your outstretched hand and had a scaphoid fracture, you would ha also have to be concerned with the radial artery which rests directly on top of it. Um, a Good way why I call it the brevis sandwich, just like if you were having, say, a turkey sandwich, it's named after what's in the middle. So you would want to come across here and remember that it is the AB ductor pollicis longus with the extensor pollicis brevis in between the extensor pollicis longus uh, in the snuff box. Sorry about that. And then I also include these diagrams just underneath it to kind of help show you where they are in the posterior forearm, which is the deep compartment here. Um, these muscles are all innervated by the anterior interosseous nerve. Um, and this is how you can see whenever they rev are revealed and on the superficial it is also important to recognize your anatomical snuff box and where they are in relation to each other. So here you can see your AB ductor here on the thumb side or radial side is just above the extensor pollicis brevis followed by the extensor pollicis longus. So it is both important to know your snuff box muscles tendons here but you should also be able to recognize them um, up here from a superficial perspective further down on the posterior forearm. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions or any uh, notice any inaccuracies, please leave them in the comments sections below. Thank you.